Greetings, this is a Ramesses II exhibit. Sorry about the background noise, but they have this uh, right there. Some 3D stuff at the bottom. And they, you know, explain some of the battle of Ramesses II. So I hope you can still hear me. There's a book by jo Joyce Lee, <coughs> I'm sorry, entitled, um, oh, I forgot, uh, Crimes and Punishments uh, by the Pharaoh. I forgot the exact uh, title, but this is what is used for the book cover, if I'm not mistaken. See? So we have another two artifacts on the left and the right. Uh, I want to show you the reference. Uh, oh, look at the size here. Well, we said my art. Now, pour dénombrer les morts, les soldats de Ramsès coupent une main de chacun des Hittites tombés au combat. Puis, le roi Ramsès quitte le champ de bataille sur son char. Il se déclare vainqueur. Il s'agit de cette histoire. 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 Il s'agit de on the left here, that was this one. On the left here, this is a painting lamps of blood from the tomb of Erhi. You know, when they have the cage, it's a full sound. The other reference here, this is from Saqqara, however, from the Egyptian Egypt. And then we have that one there. It's a painting, painted lamps on blood from the great head of the army, the same name, crossing a crocodile infested canal. And this is also from the Egyptian Museum. Now here they tell us about the center plot, where Ramses, an axe in hand, about to smite three the traditional enemies of Egypt, the Syrian, the Nubian, and the Libyan. The contrast in scale between Ramses and the prisoners and Pharisees is touching. The stages as Pharaoh in his power and dominion over the foreign captives. Two other blocks feature General Ewood Rehi, uh, this army commander who came from a Syrian family, served first under Ramses' father, said to the first before being promoted by Ramses. So I'm just going to move to the left because here is just the sound, but here we do have some things. Here we do have Meret Bef. All right. Uh, this is uh, what we call Atum. We do have the determinative of the city deity. Uh, Gardener of reference A40. It's a city person with the beard. Some people call it classifier. So we have the word for for the west, and then we have uh, Mess and Atum. So something like uh, Atum gave him birth. was birthed by a tomb. I'm just looking at the other glyphs that we can recognize. We do have a, a tomb again here. We should recognize the three flagpoles or hatchets as well as Necheru. Because there's so many people, I'm going to bounce. But here you have the face. This was a red ochre. It was obviously much darker before, but over time the, 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 the color has fainted. Uh, uh, yes, fainted away. So I'm going to pass it to you.